and welcome to line and rotational symmetry. Um, just before we start, a reminder that there is a notes chapter available for this video. Just check the description below for a download link and you can work along with me as we go through the video. So we need to begin with the question, what is symmetry? Well, symmetry is something you'll be very familiar with and something you'll have been looking at um, for many, many years. And it comes a lot, up a lot in nature. Um, if we think about a butterfly, when we think about a butterfly, we have the image that's straight down the centre of that shape. We have exactly the same uh, same image on either side, just in a mirror, uh, mirror image of it. And that is exactly what symmetry is. Um, it is where we have the same, uh, same on either side of a line of reflection. And so we have things like this. This is an actual photograph of a snowflake and we are uh, led to believe that snowflakes have lines of symmetry, that they are the same on in each direction and that would be along here and so the top and the bottom are identical but then also that we could draw a line of symmetry diagonally and we would get the same image either side and another line diagonally and we can even go through the center of each of those lines and create lines of symmetry. And that is almost true. But if we have a quick look, we can just have a, uh, have a see um, with certain areas, is it exactly the same? Well, if we look here, we can see we have three pieces on the left-hand side. But then when we look here, it's more like two pieces. And so these are not actually symmetrical because we don't have exactly the same on either side. If we look here, we have two pieces. Here, we only have one. And so although we uh, these uh, snowflakes are practically uh, symmetrical, um, is, as in if we look at this side, it's very similar. But in other sections, it's very dissimilar and therefore we don't actually have um, symmetry with a real life snowflake. But where can we see uh, see symmetry? Well we often see a lot of symmetry in logos and so in the logo design symmetry is used um, because it's something that is very pleasing to the eye. And so for the first logo where is the line of symmetry? Well the line of symmetry in this case would go straight down the middle of the shape. And if we have a look, we can see that then we get exactly the same pattern on either side, just in the mirror image. And so this shape or this logo has one line of symmetry. In terms of a different type of symmetry, we also have rotational symmetry. And rotational symmetry means that when we take the shape, we can rotate it and we find a point where it looks exactly the same when it has been rotated. Well, if I have a look at this shape, we have, if we can find the point where they are the same as each other. I will keep rotating, and keep rotating, and keep rotating, and keep rotating. And the first time that they are the same is actually when I'm back round to the start. And so this shape has rotational symmetry and all shapes will have rotational symmetry but it's all about the order and so the order in this case is one because it would it will only find the same image when we rotate it once so let's have a look at the next logo so this one is made up of three uh, three diamonds and in terms of lines of symmetry, well, if I have a look, I've got one going straight down the middle here. I've got the same image either side. It's a mirror image of itself. If I draw one diagonally, there is another line of symmetry. I have the same shape either side. And then finally, also, if I go through diagonally in this direction, I have in this shape three lines of symmetry. And so this logo has three lines of symmetry. If we were dealing with rotational symmetry, now again, rotational symmetry means to take a shape and to try to rotate it and stop when we have the same image again. So in this case, if I rotate it round, 
you can actually see here I've got the same image so that is one so far I will keep going because I want to return the shape back to its starting point so I'll go again and if I stop here well there we go I have the same image again that's two and then if I keep going I've returned it to its starting position and it looks the same and so there is a third and so this one has rotational symmetry but this time it is order three because it can be turned three times and look exactly the same as it started okay so how about this logo where are the lines of symmetry in this case um, well in this case there is only actually one and that is going straight down the center of the uh, of the logo uh, we have one line of symmetry because if we place any line of symmetry anywhere else we aren't going to get the mirror image either side what about rotational symmetry well again all i want to do here is take one of the shapes and i want to rotate it until it looks exactly the same well i'll keep going keep going it's not looking the same yet it's not looking the same yet still not looking the same and the first time that it looks the same again is actually when we return to its starting position and therefore this one has rotational symmetry of order one now some people um, do call this uh, order zero as well as into as if to say um, that it has no rotational symmetry order zero and order one are actually exactly the same um, and so with rotational symmetry either one is an acceptable answer and finally uh, we come to the recycling logo um, where are the lines of symmetry here well if i try to draw in some lines of symmetry I might be looking at going straight down the middle here but if I have a look at this on either side of this uh, purple line I would actually need an arrow pointing in both directions in order to make it symmetrical again if I went along this direction I would need the same I would need another arrow in order to make it symmetrical and also this section and this section would need to be the same shape and so this one actually has zero lines of reflection uh, sorry lines of symmetry there are there's nowhere where i can draw a line and i'll have the same shape either side but if i look at rotational symmetry well i take the shape and i rotate it can i stop it at a point where it looks the same as the original well there is one can i do it again well there is two and finally back to the starting point there is three and so despite this having no lines of symmetry it does have rotational symmetry of order three so next we're going to look at shading a diagram in order to uh, make sure that we actually have symmetry and to create a symmetrical design and so we've been asked here to shade one more square so that the design has exactly one line of symmetry now um, what with this one if we have a look um, we actually already have one line of symmetry so currently uh, this shape if we drew a diagonal line we would have symmetry as we've got half a square either side here we've got a full square either side and then half a square either side here and um, so we just need to continue this so that we keep it with that one line of symmetry and so it would probably be an idea to add a square along this line now one of uh, the automatic choice may be to color in this one because it just looks the uh, looks probably the most appealing in terms of the shape but there is a small problem with um, adding that extra square if i draw that square in what i've actually done is created a line of symmetry along here as well and in fact a line of symmetry here and a line of symmetry here the question asked us for exactly one line of symmetry and therefore this square although it makes uh, makes lines of symmetry it is not matching the criteria set down and so 
I'm going to remove that square and think about other places where I could place it. And so if I wanted to, I could add a square here. And that is keeping one line of symmetry. There are other options. I could have placed it up here and it would still work. Um, but basically that is one solution. In our second example, we're asked to shade one more square so that the design has rotational symmetry of order two. Now what that means is we need to be able to um, turn the shape 180 degrees, so a half turn, and for it to look the same, and then turn it another 180 degrees to turn it back to the start and to look the same again. And so the shapes must be the same at the top and the bottom in order for us to do that. And so in this case, the only option that we have is actually to shade in this square at the bottom. And if we do that, that means that when we turn the entire shape around, we will be able to get the same shape at the top and bottom as we started with. Okay, and so we come to the exam question and it came from the OCR paper in November 2017 and it was on foundation paper two. Um, and we're asked to write down the number of lines of symmetry of this hexagon. Now, this is a little bit of a trick question because um, it, it's saying, asking us about a hexagon. Now, when we think about a hexagon, normally uh, we think about a regular hexagon. And a regular hexagon would look something like this. And if I would ask you for the number of lines of symmetry of this shape, well, we would have one going straight across the middle. We'd have one corner to corner, one corner to corner, but we'd also have going through the straight sides as well. We'd actually have six lines of symmetry, but this one is not a regular hexagon. And so with it being an irregular hexagon, we just need to check the lengths of our sides just to check uh, what we are dealing with. And so we have a length of three and a half centimeters on one side. And if I were to check this side, this one is also three and a half centimeters. And on this side, it's also three and a half centimeters. So these three sides are the same length. If I look at the shorter sides, well, I've got around one and a half centimeters and about one and a half centimeters and lastly about one and a half centimeters all three of the shorter sides are the same length as well and so in this case my lines of symmetry would actually be straight down the middle but then also in these two directions and therefore we have three lines of symmetry in terms of the second part of the question it was asking about the order of rotational symmetry of this shape well what that means is again how many times can you turn this shape around and for it to land on top of itself so again this section and this section this section this section are all the same length the short section, the short section, the short section, the short section are all the same length and the diagonals are all the same length. And therefore, as we turn this round, it's just going to lay one on top of the other as we turn four times on that shape. 